Okay. Yeah. So today we'll start with how to find out determine the melting point of ice. I hope the screen is clear to you. Now, how we are going to do it, I'm going to explain you via the experiment. Kindly observe the experiment carefully. So let's start with it, melting point of ice. Now, as you can observe the equipment which we have taken, ice cube, beaker, thermometer, stirrer, stand clamp, fire horse, tripod stand, and Bunsen burner. So let me make you clear, this, this is the ice cube which we are going to add to the beaker. There is a thermometer, I have taken one thermometer and I have taken a stirrer. Stirrer is basically used to stir the mixture. Okay, so basically we are going to stir the mixture with the help of the stirrer and we have taken Bunsen burner to heat the compound present in the beaker. Okay, we have taken wire gauze in order to prevent the beaker. We've taken wire gauze in order to prevent the beaker from getting affected from the flames. And we have taken a tripod stand in order to make in order to place the beaker on the tripod stand. So this is a clamp stand or you can say this is iron stand with clamps. So what, these are the clamps, these black ones are the clamps and this is the iron stand. What we are going to do, we are going to hold the thermometer with the help of this iron stand. So let's start with the experiment. You can observe. Now what we are going to do, we are going to take small amount of ice cubes in the beaker. And then we are going to place it on the wire course. Okay, so observe the first step, we have collected the ice cube in the beaker and we are going to place it on the wire course or you can place it on the tripod stand containing the wire course. Now you can observe further. Now I'll place the stirrer inside the beaker and then I'll place the thermometer inside the beaker. See, but thermometer is connected to the clamp stand. So you have to be very careful and then you'll switch on the burner. Now one more thing, when you're placing the thermometer, you have to take all these precautions. First thing is you will clamp the thermometer with the help of the clamp stand. Second thing is, when you place the thermometer, you place it in such a way that the tip of the thermometer should not touch the bottom of the flask or bottom of the beaker or sides of the beaker. Otherwise, it will affect your readings. So, we we'll maintain some distance between the tip of the thermometer and the respective uh, bottom of the beaker. So, you can observe it. With time, we are going to calculate the temperature, T1, 0 degrees Celsius, and the stirrer is keep on moving inside the beaker. So you will move on the stirrer, and T2 again, you can note down this 0 degrees Celsius. So this is the melting point of ice. This is how we are going to represent it in the form of a table. So temperature, temperature and ice starts melting T1. 0 degree Celsius, completely melted T2, 0 degree Celsius. And then you can calculate the melting point of ice as T1 plus T2 divided by 2. So it's simple, we are just calculating the average. We are just finding out the average of the temperature. So you'll add T1 plus T2 and then you'll divide by 2. So this is how we get the melting point of ice as 0 degree Celsius.